Michael Jackson loved his fans, he truly did. His relationship with them wasn't just an idol follower relationship, it was a fellowship. Jackson knew several by name and even interacted with them on a one-on-one -on -one basis. He also introduced them to his children. When he traveled around the world and many hanged around his hotels, he would throw them autographs, pillows and blankets at night and even ordered them pizza on several occasions. Before we continue, give a like this video, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to hit the bell icon, so you get notified when I publish new video. Michael Jackson was and will remain the ultimate pop star. He was one of the greatest dancers, he could write timeless songs, and he made fans around the world go totally bonkers when he performed live. The king of pop will be remembered for many iconic moments, from the thriller zombie dance, to his smooth criminal lean to his Billie Jean moonwalk, but there's another tool Michael Jackson used in his armory to make the most of his stage presence. On several occasions while on tour in the 1990s, Michael found a stunning way to kick off his live shows, he just stood still. As you can see, during his dangerous tour, Michael would begin his live show by suddenly jumping onto the stage from below, while pyrotechnics would be set off. While wearing his trademark gold jacket and dark sunglasses, Michael would then simply stay in position for a full minute and a half, all while sparks would rain down behind him, and the crowd would be chanting his name. Only then did he quickly jerk his head to one side, prompting further screams from his adoring fans, before slowly taking off his sunglasses. He then burst into a performance of his hit jam. Such was the power of his fandom, several people could be seen fainting and being carried off by security while Michael did this routine at various concerts around the world. He repeated the trick at his Super Bowl halftime performance in 1993, where he began the annual tradition of staging a big-budget showcase during America's biggest sporting moment. Michael's famous pose would later be immortalized in a 10-foot sculpture of the warrior-like pose, created in 1994 by Diana Walczak, which featured on the front cover of his 1995 album History. To promote that album's tour, record label Epic placed 10 30-foot replicas of the statue in locations around the world, including the River Thames in London, Alexanderplatz in Berlin, Eindhoven in the Netherlands, and the pedestal of the destroyed Stalin Monument in Prague. Michael Jackson will never know what his fans have been continually doing for him and his legacy. But that doesn't seem to matter. To them, it's a portrayal of their everlasting love that will never die. In life, he gave it to them from his core, in the best way he could and promised them that that love would be eternal. He wrapped it in his music, and it gets rekindled every time they listen to a track. Michael Jackson fans get the star. They enjoy his art. They admire his talent and his genius. They worship his stardom and greatness. They are inspired by his strength and resilience. They are motivated by his hard work, his optimism, his grand aspirations and his achievements. They resonate with his tribulations and empathize with his predicaments. They listen to and believe in his message. They seek to emulate his example of sharing love, touching other people's lives and being the change they would want to see. The Michael Jackson fandom is a global family brought together by love. It transcends age, time, ethnicity, creed, language, and color. And is always open for all those that would love to share in it. You can never understand what it's like to love Michael Jackson until you start loving him yourself.